Hey everybody, Sam Birch here with another Wool Peacekeeper action figure review. Today we are looking at the Navy SEAL Special Ops. Uh, I'm not going to be too uh, aggressive with this character, but he's a scuba diver like character, so yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at his uh, accessories real quick. He comes with his fins. Scuba tank, a mask with snorkel, a little MP5 looking gun, not too bad, not too shabby, but there we go. I mean that's the figure in its all, if you want to know, he's, same, he's from the same lineup as the bat cart figure, right here. If you're wondering which one he is, he's that one right there, way in the back. <laughs> um. I've got almost the whole entire collection. I've got him, 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 and him. And then going down, I got him, and him, and him, and him. So I'm almost done with this lineup, and it's been taking a while trying to hunt these down. A couple of them, I will admit, I've had to actually order from the World Peacekeeper site to get them. But I got this one off of Amazon, another little happy Amazon purchase but I mean I don't know what to really say this character is a scuba diver now some of you may be saying well Sam what is your problem with an action figure being a scuba diver a couple of things one I mean he's not really a land based troop I mean he could be all you gotta really do is get rid of his scuba diver equipment put some I think he comes with shoes I can't tell it's his feet are covered by the bottom of the box. The only thing I can say is it's just, I don't know, it's just my preference when it comes to action figures. What do I like in an action figure? I like G.I. Joes that you can play outside with, you can play a scenario with them. It's just, I don't know, unless you have a scuba diver, G.I. Joe, and you're a kid and you're playing with him in your bathtub or pretend that he's got sheets and he's swimming through the ocean I mean I don't know what more to say this figure is I mean it's not a bad figure it's just the whole concept of it being a scuba diver I don't know what more to say it kind of just makes it like oh there it is <laughs> I mean it's not a bad figure in the long run I'm just saying it's just the scuba diver gimmick it's kind of like the para jumper. It's like unless he came with a boat, his figure, his gimmick would really work because that's an accessory he kind of needs since he's a scuba diver or something. But it's just like when you have the figure by itself, it's basically just he's a scuba diver on land unless you pretend he's in water. I don't know. The gimmick, it, it's a good gimmick. It's an okay gimmick. It's just... It's one of those gimmicks I didn't really care for in my G.I. Joe lineup, I would say. But, uh, let's really just bust him out of the box and see what he looks like. So there's a couple things I wanted to talk about before I rant and rave about the character. Uh, first off, the uh, machine gun he comes with. Uh, the clip doesn't come out, but it does come with a spare clip. But for some reason, uh, this one doesn't have the uh, clip that comes out. Just an FYI. Um, another thing I want to point out, uh, I was talking about the G.I. Joe and if he had shoes on or something like that. Actually, he doesn't. He actually comes with customizable shoes. And um, the really interesting part is if you look at it, they're kind of like the gloves on a lot of these World Peacekeeper figures where it's like a, a black mold that just goes over and you can actually <coughs> pop the leg off. So if you had a spare World Peacekeeper or some legs that you want to put on this figure, I think you could be able to do that. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, yeah, he just comes with these black, 
I know what they are. They're like scuba divers do wear them. It's like a under. It's like a sock. It's like a waterproof sock for them to wear when they have their flippers on. But I just wanted to share that little bit of information with y'all. So um, I will do my rant and raves and tell you what I think about this fairy gear. So, what's my personal opinion about this World Peacekeeper Navy SEAL Specialist Ops? It's not a bad figure. It's really not. Like, it is just so hard to get over this. Like, I'm like trying to give an honest review, but it's just like this is my honest re review about. I, I really don't care for the whole scuba diver equipment gear. Like, I know a lot of people are like sitting there like, well, Sam, why'd you buy it? Because it's part of the set. That's. That's the basic, like right now I'm in a constant torment and just wanting to trash this figure because personally, in my own opinion, I don't care for scuba diver G.I. Joe's. Never did. As a kid, I I never did. I remember this one time, uh, my mom got me a, it was a G.I. Joe Marine that came with the raft and stuff. Yeah, she kind of told me, she's like, yeah, you didn't even touch the raft or anything, you just took the G.I. Joe and went with it and gave him spare parts. So, you can honestly just tell through my history that I just don't really have a real caring for these uh, G.I. Joe gimmicks that are the, you know, you gotta be in water. This guy's meant to be in water. He's a scuba diver. He's, you know, going down by the bayou and imminent enemy territory and He's got to swim through alligator or piranha or just he has to be water. Like these characters, it's like, it's like if this character could be explained to me, he's about as useful as Aquaman. Really honestly, it's like you ain't going to get no use out of this guy unless he's got water. It's just like, this is the kind of guy that like runs up and is like, sir, I heard you're going on a mission. Will there be water? Well, actually, no, it's um, kind of a uh, flatlands. There's a pond, but that's where the drug cartel guy's at, and this guy gets let down because he's not needed. It's just, uh, maybe it's at the fact that I'm more of a ground-based patrol kind of guy. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's at the fact that it's like, I'd rather have G.I. Joe's in my collection than I'm going to be on the front line, be on the ground, fight enemies to enemies. I mean, this guy's a special ops. I mean, like... There's another part of me is like, well, Sam, this guy's meant to sneak. He's and he's like an army base agent that can that swims through the water, gets into enemy territory, plants charges, whatever. You know, he's special ops. Now, if I'm gonna go like, like if I took away all that I just said about how I don't really care for the whole, you know, Navy SEAL, fucking uh, special ops character, it's just more or less. It's more or less on the bias opinion that I never really cared for the whole scuba diver, you gotta have water for this character gimmick, you know, kind of thing. I just don't care for it. But I mean, honestly, the figure's not bad with the getup and all that you see. I was gonna do some outside shots, but guess what? I need water for this guy. Guess what? I don't have, you know, any type of like water source for him to be in, and I don't wanna put him in water. Like, I really don't wanna put him in water to give him that look, you know? It's just one of those, um, it's one of those figures that's just like, when it comes to my personal taste, I don't really care for it. But I mean, as a figure, as a whole, like if you're somebody, an individual who actually likes the whole scuba diver gimmick, it's not bad. It's a good figure. It's not really, like the details on everything is really nice. He's really simplistic. I mean, like, once you get everything on him, he starts to look like what he's supposed to be. And, I mean, I'm sure you all can see that through the photos. But, um, yeah. In the long run, not a bad figure. Like, really, honestly, if you want to pick this up, if you got somebody that's, like, into, like, you know, scuba diving, or if you got a kid that's interested in, you know, action figures, I mean, he's not a bad buy. I just think in the long run, his gimmick really alone as a figure just doesn't really work for a playset. 
I mean, if you came with a boat or a raft or something, then I'd really be interested in, you know, having this figure because he at least has a decent gimmick. But I mean, a character alone where he's just like, I'm a scuba diver, it just doesn't really put off well with me. And not in a bad way, it's just, I think, you know, use-wise, it's just like he's a guy that's a scuba diver. But that's about it. So, this has been my rant and rave. I uh, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.